Hello everybody, it's Blady Marshall, and welcome back to another video. Now, today we are talking about something that may actually be the stupidest decision YouTube has ever made. Now, at the time of this recording, YouTube hasn't really made a full-on decision. They've only done experiments here and there, but if they actually do fall through with this little experiment they're doing, I may actually lose full hope in society. My hope was already gone when I realized that people were making 3AM content in 2021. But to find out that YouTube may actually remove dislikes from the YouTube platform, it's actually mind-boggling and I may actually kill myself. Now Wabajag, I know you're probably not going to watch this video, but for God's sake, please, 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 and I am getting on my fucking knees right now. Please, for the love of God, do not remove dislikes from your fucking platform. Now, multiple news outlets have actually um, came out and spoken about how YouTube may actually remove dislikes from YouTube videos. And I, I just feel like YouTube should take in consideration that just because your feelings are being hurt from hate or dislikes in general doesn't mean you should go and remove them from your fucking video. Now, I get that YouTube is trying to make their... I guess, platform a lot more family-friendly for people. But please, for the love of God, Susan, take in consideration that dislikes aren't just fucking things to hate people for. I feel like dislikes should be used as something to give more criticism than hate. But, I mean, YouTube can do whatever they want with their own fucking company because that's theirs. If they actually do follow through with the idea of removing dislikes from YouTube videos... I may actually hurt someone, or myself. Now, YouTube actually tweeted about this uh, a few days before they actually went along with this little experiment they're trying to pull off, and this is what they said. In response to creator feedback around well-being and targeted dislike campaigns, we're testing a few new designs that won't show the public dislike count. If you're a part of this small experiment, you might spot one of these designs in the coming weeks. Example below. Now, like I said before, a bunch of fucking news outlets are actually coming in and making whole ass articles on why YouTube shouldn't remove the dislike feature. And in my opinion, they're absolutely right. YouTube dislikes is a huge fucking part of improving your content. And when people can't see that people don't like their video, they're going to make the same content. At the end of the day, the people who are going to really be affected by this is the creator and the people watching the creator. If you're watching a creator and they post the same thing every single day, and a lot of people are mad about that, they're going to probably dislike the video. They have a high probability of doing that. And when they do that, that shows the creator, hmm, maybe I shouldn't make videos like that anymore because they're ash cheap. From a creator standpoint, you're going to lose subs because nobody wants to watch your content, especially when you're posting the same thing. So in conclusion, YouTube isn't the only one who is being hurt by their own fucking doing. They're also hurting the YouTube creators who are making content every single day, and they're hurting the viewers who watch these content creators who make content every single day. Now, that's really all I had to say. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and like. If you didn't like this video, dislike. If you want to keep watching content like this, go ahead and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.